I'm going to take you through Lewis and Clark now. Um, this, this song was a very inspired piece of music. I read the journals of Lewis and Clark and uh, discovered that they weren't chartered accountants. They were much more important people than that. And um, so when I wrote the song, I wanted to speak of the great unknown. I wanted to speak of the American West. And more importantly, I wanted the music to have the sound of the Native American people, the Indian people. And um, so I tried to figure a way of doing that. It was quite a challenge for a, a kid from down under. And uh, so the song is very simple, but again, there's a lot of sustain going on, and it's really important that the, 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 the melody has a real sustain to it and that the chords change underneath. So I'll just play the song, and uh, you can watch carefully, and then I'll just show you anything that I think you, you need to know. So here it is, Lewis and Clark. So there it is. Um, the introduction part, I'm, I kind of uh, 
really take my time with it and spell out that melody, but try to do it in a way as if it was like a, 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 an Indian flute somehow. So You hear that? So I'm playing this note, and that one's the same note. So this one sustains when this one changes. It's a beautiful sound. There's little hammer-ons there. And then do Again there. Then I go harmonic, note, harmonic, harmonic. And then I just do that little shaking of the the bag. I don't know I don't know what I'm doing there, but it's a it's almost like a rattle rattlesnake or something. I don't know what it is, but no, I just know that it belongs in there. So so after we get to that we tread on the rattlesnake. And now when I'm setting the song up, I, I, it's just E minor to G. Right. So when, when, when I, I play the strum, I'm sweeping up with my finger to try and create that hum sound. Hum. See that? That's how I'm getting this. Home. And all, already, when you listen to it, just playing those two chords, there's already a, a mystery going on. There's already the great unknown. We're, we're, but it, it's moving, isn't it? It's got, it's got momentum. It's like we're, we're, we're moving. We're going somewhere. So. Okay. So, now the melody. hear how that there's the melody there it, it sustains right, right across to there then and then I there again so what I was saying before about um, uh, that the melody has to sustain and the chord changes happen smoothly underneath but that melody just is, is So that you, you have the, the melody has a kind of life of its own, and, and the backing, the, the chords underneath are just co this constant motion. And I'm using, when I get to that D chord there, yeah, I'm using my thumb to play the, the third down here. Okay, let's, let's do the chorus. So the chorus is on this chord here, which is um, a kind of, an E minor seventh with a ninth. There's the shape there. So Now I've got to point something out here that some people have made me aware of. I wasn't aware of it until they pointed it out because a lot of people have trouble playing this song at this point. I'll tell you why. Because I'm playing the melody rocking the knuckle of my second finger there. You see that? You watch. So that I'm rocking the knuckle backwards and forwards and letting the finger come down like that. That's how I get that melody. And. Okay. So if you can, if you can get all that together, and uh, watch very carefully. Um, 
the previous footage of me actually playing the song, all those things I've just pointed out to you will be, become very apparent. And they're all very important in making the song work and getting the right feel on the song. So I hope you enjoy that.